Welcome to another shareable broadcast. Make sure you get these messages out to others so that they can be educated on what's going on in the Democratic Party that I love so much. Today, I've come across several articles, uh, and I've tried to stay against some of the pending litigation out there, but it's time for me to give some sort of an update as to how important it is to stay up on things like the Freedom Act uh, and Patriot Act and Section 3, which deals with the financing of the campaigns through the Ku Klux Klan. As you can see, uh, we've scored a great victory as we've seen some of these sentences handed down to uh, some of the factions of the Ku Klux Klan uh, in the South. And with the ongoing investigation into the SARS report, we will be able to track down uh, larger money transfers as far as properties uh, that they may have had as investment properties, uh, rental agreements, uh, retail establishments, and some of the other uh, conspicuous income uh, that come along with secret organizations. As we do that, uh, I think it's important to realize that our country is changing, and it's changing for the better. Uh, and sometimes it takes a catastrophe, like the Trump administration and the White House takeover, to wake up uh, people and to unite people and to make us all remember uh, how our party got started. Back when the country was scared, uh, it was a young country. Uh, there was a lot of chaos. There was a lot of confusion. And there was only one vision. And that was the vision of Jackson. Uh, as he and the Donaldsons took on the campaign to transform America from the colonialists uh, and some of the belief systems that came along with the Puritans and the uh, English uh, travelers, if you will, into what we come to know as a democracy. Uh, it was forged on the backs of horses uh, through the South and taken all the way to the Mississippi River. Uh, and then it was fortified by his journeys uh, with the Donaldsons at his side uh, through the South and making his impression felt all the way to Washington, D.C. as a seventh sitting president. And the last president, really, uh, to have to deal with the evolution of a new party, of a new way of looking at things that would last over 200 years and still be able to battle some of the division uh, that conservatives allow to seep in through their legislation and trying to divide the country as they did under Reagan with trickle-down economics uh, in an effort to, uh, I hate to say union bust, but that's really what it was. As we take a look as Democrats at some of the issues that are going to face us after we get done handling uh, these racist organizations that supported this actor and real estate investor, we've got to look at the immigration problem. And it's not going to be something that's going to trickle down because they call that deep and decent. In other words, we're dependent on you to allow us to wait for our end of it to get here. And they're all well schooled on that down in Latin America. What they need is they need assistance. They need to know the most efficient way to find medicine for their disease-stricken children. They need to know the most efficient way as families to find the financial means to survive legally. They need to know where to get a job and they need to know how to unionize and how to protect what they have from people who can afford to manipulate them. We have to do a better job of supporting these third world countries. 
by allowing them to understand our history and how we overcame challenges similar to theirs in our past. We need to be a brother and sister, a father and mother to these families that struggle trying to get across our border, living uh, in a war zone that we don't understand. We can't build walls and tell them that America don't care anymore. We need to be down there at the border. We need to build these welcome centers, and I don't care if they're the size of Olympic Stadium, to welcome these 800 people a day who are seeking refuge and safety from something that is seldom talked about in the media. We need to take a look in Europe once again at what's going on through our uh, faithful eyes and say Putin is pushing these people out for a reason and we need to know what that reason is and every time I see it it seems like he's pushing them towards Siberia towards the wasteland where the unwanted go, who don't have anything, no money, no hope, and no leaders. As a society of people who were pushed out of England because of our beliefs in liberty, I think it's our job to take a look at some options or some alternatives to assisting, which is something that is a trademark of the Democratic Party. We do believe in a society that assists and helps people to find their path in life or their road in their own pursuit of happiness through the foundations that we have provided by our forefathers in the Declaration of Independence, Bill of Rights, and the Constitution, which seems to always provide the answer that we seek in our times of turmoil. Thank God for the United States of America. Thank God for our history. And thank God for our Supreme Court justices who realize the importance of those three documents. Thank God that people can look back and see all the veterans who have served and died protecting us from tyrants like our friend Roy E. Smith. 